everybody, my name is Cleo. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a wedding guest dresses haul because I'm in that season of life and I'm going to be going to a lot of weddings this year. So I figured it'd be fun to show you dresses that I've worn in the past but also ones I'm going to be wearing in the very near future. So with that, let's get into it. The first one is from Hello Molly. I literally just bought it for an upcoming wedding I have in May but it's this like super pretty dark green and has this like off the shoulder mesh and I mean I'll show you what it looks like on but it's just like this like ruching and it's like pretty tight and long but I just thought it was really cute also I realized when I'm like going through my dresses a lot of them will be green as a spoiler alert but yes this is what this one looks like so I haven't worn it out yet but I really like this one actually what I feel like it's very comfortable but at the same time tight enough to, that I don't feel like a potato sack and I love little sleeves here I like don't love my arms tbh so I like that it can cover some of it yeah I feel like this is really cute I don't know what do you think and then the back but oh my gosh I'm so excited to have this in my rotation cute also like like the little drape the little mesh also like that's not like the same satin fabric that like a lot of my dresses are so kind of like switches it up a little bit but okay new favorite new favorite i don't know what do you guys think and this next one is also one i just bought from hello molly but it's like a pretty different vibe it's like this very light pastel green like halter neck top and the back is like very open and like crisscrossy tie -y and a little cowl neck cowl neck cowl back i don't even know but this one's also long and it's like a very different material it's like a satiny vibe also i really like this button detail which i thought was cute so i don't know i'm excited and i actually ended up buying the same dress but in a dark green color because the pastel one was for a wedding i'm going to in spain where like the dress code was supposed to be like pastels but i'm going to a different wedding in like the tri-state area that is like darker themed i think so i bought the same silhouette in this dark green but same vibe same little button situation, same everything. So yeah, this is the dark green dress from Hello Molly. Yeah, I liked the high neck situation. I think it's kind of cute. And then this is the back. Okay, I realize now that the back might be a little crazy. I've never actually wore this um, to a wedding. I was planning on wearing it to a wedding, but now that I see it on me, the back looks insane. Oh my gosh. This is too much, isn't it? This is like too much for a wedding. It's giving, what? And then this is the lighter green one, which now that I'm again looking at it in the camera, in retrospect, I'm like maybe I need to pick a different dress for a wedding, but the front is cute. The back is scary. And this next one is actually from David's Bridal, and I wore it to a wedding in Singapore, and I, I guess I'll show a picture here, but I'll also try it on. It's like this strapless burgundy situation, and I really liked the silhouette of the neckline. I'm like really into that, and it was like drapey and long, and so I thought it'd be like really cute for Singapore, because it was like a black tie wedding but i don't know i just really liked it also like the back has this like ruching which i thought could be flattering but it does have a slit and usually i'm not a slit dress girl but i felt like it was okay enough that i could like hide it anyways i will show you what it looks like on okay and this is the burgundy one from david's bridal it is strapless which is something i don't usually go for but i don't know i just really like this one on the website and i feel like it ended up looking pretty good irl well i guess you can be the judge of that let me know if it looks disgusting but i kind of like the way it like drapes here i feel like it's more flattering for my waist i don't know and yeah, that's what it looks like and then the back is just a regular back. I thought this was really cute. I don't know. I also like, like this darker red color because it's like not too crazy. You know what I mean? I will say there's like a little pokey part here 
that got a little bit uncomfortable, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And this one I wore a long, long time ago, but it's from Windsor, which I feel like sometimes like hit or miss, but this one was like only $30 like back in the day. And I feel like it has gone a long way. Like I've worn it multiple times, but again, it's green, but it's like a different silhouette. It has straps, two straps and a little like thing in the back. I don't even know. Um, and it is like a V-neck. Usually I don't go for V-necks, but that time I did, I don't know why. Um, and it is long and I think I liked it because of the color, but also because no slits. So I feel like it was more comfortable that way. But yes, I will show you what it looks like on. And this one I wore to a black tie wedding that was in New York a couple years back. I haven't worn this since, but honestly, now that I'm looking at it in the freaking viewfinder, I'm like, okay, time to bring this back out. Like, I feel like this is actually still kind of cute and still works. I also like very secure and just no fuss, you know what I mean? Like, I don't wanna worry about slits. I can wear a full bra, cause like the back is like completely backed. But yeah, kind of cute. And this next one I wore to a wedding in Texas, like a couple years ago or like a year and a half ago, but it's from Pretty Little Thing and it's brown. I had like a moment in time where I was really into browns and like cowl necks, but I really just liked this dress. I mean, again, also has a slit, but it was like hidden enough that I felt like it was workable, but I just really liked this like dark brown color and I liked the way it draped theoretically um i'll show you what it looks like on and it was a little bit tough to like actually wear but i will show you what i mean but yeah it has like spaghetti straps and it's just yeah pretty simple i think like for like a good formal wedding that's not like necessarily black tie i feel like it was appropriate so there's that and this is this um, yeah i really like the color and i like the fit down here i feel like the fabric really cinches me in kind of vibe but this neck situation made it so difficult to wear. Like, I don't know why it folds so odd. Like, it's like so odd. And it was a little bit tough because like when I was dancing on the dance floor, I had to like really hold myself in. But assuming this part got fixed, it would have been such a cute dress I would have worn to like a million other weddings. But it did the job for that one wedding I was at in Texas. But yeah, super, I thought it was like super cute, just super easy. This neck situation aside, like if I stayed still, it would have been fine. And this next one, I think I got from ASOS a long time ago. Yes, that is true. And this is another halter neck situation, but it is black and the material is like very comfortable and forgiving. It's just like this super stretchy cotton. Again, I'll put another picture of me here but I wore this to my cousin's wedding in Vermont in like the fall. And yeah, it was just like super comfortable. Also, it's like very elasticy and long, but because of all the elastic, like I could make it as short or as long as I wanted, which I kind of liked, but yeah, just a super easy, simple one. I feel like you can never go wrong with like a black dress. You know what I mean? So there's this one yeah it's like really comfortable really stretchy and i thought this was like maybe appropriate for a family wedding because it's like more high necked and like is very long but it is very comfortable and the fabric is like really stretchy and this is what the back looks like but yeah i feel like this is like a very easy simple go-to like can wear it multiple times literally anywhere kind of vibe this next one i actually thrifted from a thrift store for like 20 bucks but brand wise it's actually zara it's like this super cute black silk dress situation i really like this part i don't even know what to call it i like that this top part is like so small and has this like satin lining situation and then the back has this situation going on it's kind of hard to see just me holding it up but i'll try it on for you but yeah i really feel like it's so pretty i think this dress specifically was like blowing up on tiktok a while back but like the white version and my sister actually wore this dress for her wedding and like as her reception dress and it was so pretty i think like original price is like $60 but I got this thrifting for 20 but I will admit it's like one size too big so it doesn't fit perfect but I feel like very pretty very normal but then the back you're like wow okay back okay it's giving something unique something different but yes that is that and this one's also from Zara I think I got it a long time ago as well as you can see there's a very similar theme going on it's either green or cowl necky and this one is both kind of similar to the brown one I showed earlier but yes yeah, very simple 
feel like okay it's wrinkly ignore that but yeah i feel like it's easy to wear i feel like back then this was like what literally everyone wore to every wedding ever okay ignore the fact it is the most wrinkly dress that's ever been in existence i do not own a steamer but i'm putting it on so you get the vibe it's just very easy very simple very satin -y vibe but yeah this is what it looks like i feel like we'd be good for like a winter or fall wedding because the color is darker but yeah this is the one from zara i mean just is what it is you know nothing much to say about i will say the cowl neck is like pretty good like it's not too floppy or weird so that's a plus but yeah that's just that sorry it's so wrinkly literally ignore that i also went to abercrombie to try on some of their dresses because i know they have a ton of new stuff and like wedding related things because they're really trying to like up their game or something so i'm gonna insert some of the footage that i took when i was in the dressing room since i feel like those are very cute options as well but I don't know, I guess we'll see. Like this first one, I was really into this yellow color, but I think maybe, I mean, I think it's really cute, but for me, I feel like it kind of hit in like an interesting part of my waist. Also as a slit, which I don't love, but the back was really pretty. Also, I really liked the color and I mainly tried this one on because I liked the color and I liked the silhouette of a different dress, but they had sold out of the yellow. So I just wanted to see if like the yellow would even look good with my skin tone and then try the silhouette of the other dress. Cause then maybe I could just like buy it on Online since I know like both work out but anyways this one was like pretty pretty and I feel like it would have been nice for like a good spring wedding to be honest I also like that it's like higher neck so it's a little bit more conservative but then the back is like really pretty so yeah I feel like this is a good option if you're looking for something next one I know you cannot wear to a wedding because it's literally white but this is the dress that I like the silhouette of and I wanted in yellow but they did not have it in stock in my size but I just wanted to try the silhouette to just see if I would like it and I really do like it i feel like um usually i'm not that into v-necks but i really like the way that this one sat and i feel like it has i don't know like kind of hits in the right places but i feel like it's a good option for literally anything and you can wear it to a lot of different types of weddings but yeah i really like this one and this last one is like a big departure from all the other ones that i've tried on but it's this like very springy florally dress i don't even know how to describe it i literally don't have anything like it um but i thought it was kind of cute kind of pretty again i'm not really leaning towards like v-necks but i think if someone likes it i feel like it would be a nice option as well like i feel like it fits pretty nice and has this like crinkle i don't even know what to call it like a pleated material um yeah i thought it was really pretty but with that that is it thank you so much for watching please make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you for the next one